thanks for joining me. I'm going to take you out. We're going to get some fiddleheads today. Uh, as long as we're not too late, we're going to try and see what we can do. We're going to take you along with us. Come on. Otherwise, I'll use the selfie stick. We're going to go down here along the riverbank is where we find them most of the time. I'm going to head down the hill a little bit and uh, we'll start walking from here along the riverbank and I can usually find a good amount of them as long as we're not too late. I think we should be right on time though. a little bit late but there's still a bunch of them that we can harvest that are just right uh, i'll show you what one is real quick and show you how to identify the ostrich fern that's the fern that has the fiddle head that is edible to us so you want to get them 12 inches or less and what they look like is they have a a stalk that is similar to celery shape it looks like celery uh, it's nice and firm it's dark green and also the ostrich fern has this little brown paper substance around the outside of the, the furled up leaves and that's how you know an ostrich fern. Um, we're going to blanch these, we'll get, a, we'll get a whole bunch of them today, we'll blanch them and then we're going to, we just saute them. Uh, I'll show you a couple more that are real, real good, nice big ones. The big ones are the, are the better ones, they're, they're more vegetable there. So uh, let's go, let's go grab some. You look right here. I walk in the water to get to them, but if you look right there. It's perfect. These are the ones we're looking for, right here. So we'll take that off. So all the short ones, we're gonna pick those, and they are absolutely. That's what we're looking for. That's perfect size. If we were here a day, well, maybe a few days. If we were here uh, by last weekend, might have been too early. And then this week, this weekend, if you look, they are everywhere, but they're popped up for the most part. Now, a lot of those are still good. Uh, we'll go through and get the shorter ones, the shortest of all and the biggest of all. They're the less, least amount of work and it's the best reward. So we'll go get those. All right, no eat. These little ones are a little bit more work for what they're worth. Here, Noah. Okay. Let me get out of the water for a minute, maybe. So just for a second, we'll show you the difference between some fiddlehead species. Uh, some, there are a couple other edibles. But really, the only one we're looking for to eat is the ostrich fern. So I think this one's like called a lady fern or something like that. But this fern right here, you're going to see fiddleheads also. But they're not really edible. They may be edible, uh, but they're not what we're looking for. But really, with all the ostrich ferns, the abundance of those, I think in this spot right here, I can see ahead of us that really that's all we're going to need. I don't want to take too, too many. Like I said, I, I don't mind freezing them, but they're not as good. So that's the difference. We're really looking for the ostrich fern. And the ostrich fern, again, looks like uh, celery stock, nice and smooth, with a round furled head. That's the, the pinwheel shape or the, the fiddle head, they call it. It looks like the top of a fiddle. And they have those little brown paper all around it. So that's how you know the ostrich fern. There you are. We didn't have to spend a whole lot of time down by the water. We got all kinds of fiddleheads enough for now. Uh, like I said, I'm not keen on freezing them. They taste much better fresh. So uh, that was pretty good. Pretty good. If you look behind me is where we were. Sorry about the spinning. There's a nice little river bottom down there. And uh, that's, where, that's where a lot of fiddleheads are. That's where we find them quickly. And uh, it makes short work of it for sure. All right, we're going to head out to the, um, the leak patch. We're going to head out to Leak Patch and get some leeks for our dinner, and uh, we'll bring you along with us. 
take you around to some of our favorite places to find wild edibles, a little mountain lake in the Adirondacks. All right, we made it to our leak patch, our favorite leak patch we have up in the woods. We don't really tell anybody where that stuff is, but uh, it's all right. Um, but where we're headed, there's a whole bunch of leaks, easy to find. Um, but what I would say is if you had a small patch, I wouldn't take every single leak out of those patches. I let that, let that patch flourish and, and grow well. But in this case, it's leaks as far as we can see. It's a pretty well known patch uh, where we'd, uh, we're gonna take you out on the trail and get some, get some leaks to go with our fiddleheads. after today and, and it would be a lot of effort but this is uh, I can't remember the name of this trout lily or tiger lily but we dig these up you can eat a couple of the leaves in the salad but if you dig those all the way to the end there's a there's a nut like a corm at the end that you can eat that's that's very edible and uh, just a whole lot of work for not a, not a lot of reward so we're gonna pass those up let's head to the leaks Starting to get into the leaks. Now they also call them spring ramps. This is a small patch, but it's leading to a very large patch. These are kind of offshoots. We're just gonna kind of get our little shovel in there. Best to find the the uh, loosen those up. Oh, I cut one of them, but oh, I cut them all off. Didn't dig enough, but that's what they look like. We'll wash it off in the stream, throw it in the bag. I'll leave the rest of these here. Uh, we're gonna head up to the to the very large patch. It's so much easier to get the bulk of the dirt off of them right out in the woods. just a beautiful spot but everywhere you look you see if you look over there you're gonna see a handful and that's what they look like they're, they're like I said they're called leaks uh, these are springtime leaks which, which uh, most people identify them as uh, ramps we call them spring ramps so we'll grab a few dirt off of there. These things are so good when they're pickled. Uh, kids love them. In the fall they get much much bigger like you'll see in the grocery store leaks that are large. 
in the springtime they're very small, but the bulbs and the, the leaves are delicious. You eat them on just about everything. If you like onions and you like garlic, it's the cross between the two is how I how I think they taste. They taste just like both. A couple of them I cut the the bulbs off, but here's a good one right here. I'll pull that one out. So that's that's a beauty right there. That one's perfect. It's delicious. So we'll eat that up later. Just gonna get all the leaves and the garbage off. You probably could transplant these. I don't know how well they do like in your garden. Um, you might be able to transplant some of the, some wild leaves would be would be awesome if you could. The flavor just just is amazing. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cleaning these off. I'm going to gather maybe that much more, and then that's enough for us for now. When we come back in the fall, we'll have a lot of leaves to, to take care of. Now they would say if, if you didn't, if you had a small patch, you could actually just harvest the greens, right? chop them off as they come out of the ground. You know, leave one, take one, something like that. You could harvest just the green, and they taste delicious. I mean, here it just there just happens to be an overabundance, and they're taking over the entire woods. But uh, you know, some people aren't quite that lucky to have patches like that. So if you do find some, take the greens, they're just as good. Throw them on a sandwich or in a salad. Careful, they're pretty, pretty powerful. Perfect. So we'll grab just this many more and we're good. We'll leave the rest of that patch. One more spot. another nice size patch good enough for us uh, not too far away it's right next to the water we just crossed the stream so we'll go grab a handful of those and that's about it for today we'll take them back to the house we'll prepare them and we'll eat them you want to talk about how to tell if it's an actual leak or not so what we do is you pull it out of the ground and you smell it. If it smells like a, an onion, um, it's an onion. If it doesn't smell like an onion, don't eat it. Now there are some leeks here on ramps that have, I don't even know if they're the same uh, same species, but if you look there's no purple, there's no purple uh, husk around that. On the, on the very pungent, the good leeks that I'm, that I'm familiar with eating, there's that pungent and they smell strong onion garlic smell. This smells like nothing. Don't pick it, don't eat it. I don't believe that's the same thing. If it is, it's a very mild form of it, and I'm, I'm never, anything out in the wild, you gotta be 100% sure. So we're gonna pass up on this one. After this entire pass that you see in front of me, they're all like that. So when we get, here's a purple one. This is, uh, that's the difference. If any of you know what this is, it grows near leeks, it may be leeks, but what it is, is it, it doesn't have an odor. It doesn't smell like onion. So we've always just left them alone. If you know what it is, drop us a comment, let us know. Uh, but if you look, we'll turn this way and I'll show you that purple pus that I was talking about. This is a, a definitely leaks. Let's get this thing dug up. If you look, that purple around it, like I said, that's a beauty, that's a beauty right there. But that's got that purple husk around it, and I know for sure that that is a leek, and it is just onion all the way. There's no, there's no doubt that this is a leek. So we're gonna harvest what we've got right in front of us, and that's gonna be about it.
and put them in our bag. We'll, we'll take you with us when it's done. <laughs> yeah. This is Head to another spot that we know that we have some leaks at. Can you stop that for a second? Yeah. All buttoned up and we're going to start this one.